in this biome, we're looking at temperate grasslands. So we're in the temperate climate zone. So looking at this band across this latitude to here in the northern third hemisphere, and then this band across here in the southern hemisphere, this is a temperate climate zone, and we have temperate grasslands. So we have what we call prairies here in the United States. We have some temperate grasslands in South America, and this band here across in Europe and Asia, parts of South America, and also Australia. And so our own backyard is actually pretty biodiverse. We have several different types of biomes represented in our area, Northwest Indiana, and one of them is our prairie grassland. So this is, well, both of these are images taken along the Calumet Trail in Indiana Dunes National Park. So they actually have very distinct seasons, very cold, harsh winters where it can get down to negative 40 and below, and also extremely hot, dry summers. So it can vary pretty widely throughout the year. They get moderate, intermediate levels of precipitation. Sometimes it can be kind of dry at 10 inches. Some areas may receive more rain at 35 inches. So here's a climatograph of North Dakota. <coughs> Actually, where I'm from, I was born in Bismarck, North Dakota. So here on the left y-axis, here we have temperature, Fahrenheit, and Celsius. And on the second y-axis, we have precipitation, millimeters, and inches. So if we look at the temperatures, they can get really cold, down to like negative 15 degrees Celsius, all the way up, you know, to you know, 60, 70, 80, 90 degrees um, during the summer times. And then these blue bars can be indicating their different precipitation levels in millimeters and so you can see that during some spring months is when they receive the most rainfall and winter time they receive the least amount of rainfall because it's heavily snowing so they are a grassland so grasses are duck going to dominate this area these types of grasslands are not going to have that many trees and they're going to have a lot of wildflowers so it can get really hot, and looking at this grass, that makes great timber for fires, essentially, to spread really fast. So we have a lot of plants here that are well adapted to fires, and some actually depend on fires in order to germinate and grow. And also to access the deep groundwater, a lot of these plants are also going to have very long roots as well. So here's some examples of of images that I, I actually took in North Dakota when I went to go visit a couple of years ago. So anytime you see trees like that, you know it's going to be just near a water source. This is along a, a river that's running through the park. Here's different kinds of animals that live in these types of temperate grasslands. Again, these images I took actually when I visited North Dakota. We have a lot of bison or buffalo pronghorn, which is what these guys right there, we have wolves, little prairie dogs, birds, rodents, foxes. So some adaptations that some animals will have, like the prairie dog, will be to burrow in areas that, you know, don't really have many trees growing. There really is no place to hide. So a lot of animals will be burrowing below ground. Because grass dominates, we're going to have a lot of animals that are adapted to eat this grass. And because there's a lack of areas to hide, a lot of animals will be camouflaged. And so a lot of them will be here lighter in color to blend in with the kind of sandy uh, background or these light colored grasses. All right, that takes care of temperate grasslands.